เขาเอาเขาเอาปืนไปไปที่ไหนไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปI'm going to go into a little bit about that. Yeah, I'll... Right, our design is going to be going into DEC next week. Um, for, they're looking at the 100% design. They're going to then potentially have comments, and then we'll finalize the design after that. But essentially, the steepest portions of the island where you see major, where you see a lot of the sandbags and garbage spilling in, the areas that are about 1 to 1 to 2 to 1 slopes, those are all going to get large armor stone. So armor stone is a large 3-foot diameter stone, about 2,000 pounds each. Those are going to be put along that shoreline for permanent stabilization. I mean, you can't you can't get much more stable than armor stone. And then as the slope um, gets more gradual, we're going to use different methods that incorporate vegetation. So we're using what they call um, terracels or articulated concrete blocks. So they're concrete blocks that are tied together with cables, and you lay them out as a blanket, and you're able to plant in the middle of them. So you actually have a combination of hard structure with vegetation. And then the third is a similar, it's mostly vegetation and soil with a little bit more um, lateral strength with that's used with a fabric for la lateral strength, and then we'll just have vegetation. So majority of the shoreline is actually going to be improved. The only areas that are not going to be improved are the areas that are very gradual and they're very stabilized where you see vegetation, you don't have any signs of waste being exposed. And the sand that's being eventually is going to spread yeah, over the island. Uh, is that going to wash into the creek? No, that's the, the shoreline is going to be stabilized all the way up to the top of the bank, and the sand is only going to be put on the top of the island, so from the top of bank up, so that the stabilization is going to take care of all slopes. Well, but when you and then the sand, sand is going to be vegetated. The sand is going to be vegetated. Yes. The whole top of the island is going to be a mixture of tall grasses, short grasses, different dune grasses that you see, beach grasses. Um, so a, a very um, high quality habitat for ground nesting birds. So the entire air, the entire island is going to be vegetated for and stabilization. those grasses will hold the sand in place. Correct. Correct. It'll be, it'll be like a meadow habitat. Yes. So it doesn't need any maintenance. Nothing. No maintenance. It may be. We may use some mowing in the first couple of years just to get to keep a diversity high. John, you have a question? Yeah. As long as you brought up the ground nesting birds. Uh, aside from the osprey, the six osprey nests that we've had out there, they're now gone. And I understand those were endangered species. We also have cow egrets and blue egrets out there, which are also, I understand, endangered species. Uh, what are you spraying when you do with those? We're spraying on the top of the island. The egrets are going to be more along the shoreline. So we're not spraying the shoreline. What the osprey, do we, do we know about the osprey? Uh, I know parks did because the parks guys used to be out there all the time. We used to be photoing uh, all the time, and I'm out there with a kayak all the time. We used to point them out to people, and they'd be picking them up, and the moons uh, are showing them the osprey. The, um, I guess the vulnerability that osprey would have would be if there were chemicals finding their way in the fish that the osprey eat. The osprey eat only, only fish. They don't nest on the island. They've been seen on the island. They had their nest up in the trees. Uh, I've never seen nests. They're, they're not there during breeding season. They're there during the fall. They're there during the spring. The, the, the possible explosion of the pathway of the osprey would be eating the fish. There is no way for the herbicide to get in, um, get into the water and get into the fish uh, applied properly. Uh, Marianne? Before you said there were going to be the big stones along the... So now you're going to put the stones in and then there's all that garbage that's going to be pushed out from the stone going down? No. No, the... I, the well, there's garbage there now. So the garbage that's, that's there now... Will be capped. Capped with the stone and capped with soil. So the stone's going to push up. The it's stone's going to be laid on down. top of, correct. Yes. The stone's not going to be coming down. It's going to be built from the bottom up. So from it's going to be... 
capping the entire So any storm. rubbish or anything that's going to come into the water during all this, who's going to be in charge of cleaning it out? If we're generating garbage, we'll be taking care of it. So you're going to take this spot? If we generate it, yes. We'll okay. And anything else in the water that's going to be taken out while this sure. procedure is being done? Oh, the, the uh, part of the project too is we're like there's the remnants of the old bridge. Right. Uh, the idea of what is from it because of the safety has of the horizontal members that are there. But there's there's times when they just come down. All the horizontal members, those are all going to get cleaned up and then all be taken off. What about the poles? The poles will remain. Uh, right now we have it as the poles remaining. And any any poles that are over there, are those going to be removed? Right? Uh, yeah, we're looking into trying to clean that up as well. But who's going to do it though? It'll be all part of the same contract. With, with the park department? Yes, all oh, part of the, the, the whole reconstruction yeah. element is all included as part of it. It wouldn't be separate contracts. Because you know you're going to have now this so beautiful so. island. You're going to go, you're going to step off the glass, or without, you know, someone's got to be responsible for keeping it clean now. Are they dredging around the island too? No. Uh -huh. no Are they still going to be able to water ski around the island? Uh, yep. Yeah. No way. Uh, yeah, stay away. Nothing will be closed or so well for a second. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 right. I'm, not, I'm not done. I just, okay. I, what I'm trying to say is, you know, people are going to come to this island now to visit it. Are you allowed to go out there? No. no. Even though you're not allowed, that doesn't mean anyone's right. going to go there. Right. So who's going to be responsible for keeping the island clean? You know, we know the Scarecrow Beach people have visited the island for many, many years, and they're going to continue to. Right, Is there now no trespassing on We're going to continue to manage this park as an island. It's going to have habitat value. We'll be monitoring it. We'll certainly be monitoring the wildlife, the success of the habitat, and attracting the bird species. We'll be monitoring the landscape up front in the initial years especially to make sure that it that it, it it takes off and thrives. We're not going to manage the site like a neighborhood park. We won't have crews going there to pick up litter. Um, we're going to have to have, I think, an ongoing dialogue with the community. You know, we have never encouraged, we've never managed White Island as a place where we want public access. We know that people from the community right. go there, right. and we are not. We are not intending to have enforcement officers out there to snag people. What we would prefer is to have a dialogue with the community going forward so that there is a lot of awareness, particularly at the times of the years where some of the, 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 the birds that will be using the island are nesting, when it is they are more vulnerable to... Uh, oh, that's to, what I'm saying. Okay, now. So I think information is going to be our primary tool we're trying to get people in the community to help us manage the island, protect the island, and keep it clean. It's much more attractive to dump them right now. Yes. Because of the phragmites. It's easy for people to go and essentially hide and, you know, do nonsense and dump stuff. It's, it's, I, you know. I think we're creating something here that, that the community will really embrace as an asset. Right, well, that's And we'll want to protect, not that that means that no one will want to touch it, but... but people that, going, you know... Hang out. It's no, it's not public land. You know, no, 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 I understand that. But, but that, that's the point. I, I understand that, but I'm saying the people that do go on it, you know they're going to You're not allowed on it. To go on the I'm the public I, like you. We're not allowed on it. Right. So that's, that's, right. That. That's, that's the people. No. But there's still the garbage there. Leave it the table. We're not allowed on it. You can't leave it at that. So right now all the garbage is going to get blown into the water. They're and doing what they have to maintain. Without the, the Frank Mighty's there. Whatever garbage is on there, it's just there. There's nothing holding it back from going into the water. If a breeze comes and there's a paper cup on there, what's it going to wind up? That happens in Coney Island. That happens in. Uh, we don't want Coney Island. That's Mary Ann, Mary Ann, said, Carrie and I are coming to say, Frank, did you want to address yourself to this? I'm, I'm sorry. Good. Stand I did up. I know I was going to speak tonight. Point. I'm just trying to simplify it. Now. I know. It's not Thank a public Thank you. with all of us. Thank you. John? Dennis, I, I'm, I'm, my apologies. I had to leave the last meeting abruptly uh, last time. Uh, this may have been asked and answered, but the three stockpiles of sand that are on the island, okay, they're going to be there until after the approval of the, the design, yes, until the work starts next year. Right. Okay. Right. So these piles, by the way, are approximately six feet high, or will be six feet high, right. and the intent is, is to spread that out to somewhere around two to three feet high 
once the, the show like